Welcome, werewolves, to Gong Fu Yu, the number one place for Gong Fu Tea learning. <laughs> Welcome, everyone, to Gong Fu Yu, presented by Fire and Earth Teaware. We're still in section one of four, Fundamentals of Teaware. And again, this is the best place for education and everything you need to know about Gong Fu Tea, Teaware, and Tea culture. Today's topic, we're going to be talking about all of the different shaped pots. There are hundreds, if not thousands, of different shapes of pots. And we're going to talk about as many of them as we can possibly fit into today's video. Now, before we get started, we need to talk about a few things. The first is, what makes a pot? So first of all, we're talking about brewing vessels, right? And there's two main brewing vessels that we see in Chinese Gong Fu style brewing. The first is going to be the Gai Wan right? The brew cup. The second is going to be the traditional cha hu, or the traditional Chinese teapot. So these are the two type of brewing vessels that we're going to be talking about in this pot shape video. And next, we need to talk about how did we organize this video. So this video is going to be structured differently than most other videos you see on our channel. It's going to be a lightning round where I just go through pot after pot with quick description, describing and showing you what each of these pots look like. Now, we are going to stick with the Chinese name for these pots, and for the major ones, we will actually give them names in English in the future, but we're just going to be sticking with the Chinese names today. Additionally, we're going to be putting them in alphabetical order by their Chinese name, not ranking them. In the future, again, we will go into more specific specifics of the common styles that you'll see. We also may reference it in the description as I'm going through the video, the popular and not popular or not as popular styles. All right, last, last thing I promise. Four translations, there's a couple that we're missing. If you know what the character is, make sure to let us know in the comments. For the teaware pictures, the quality does vary because I'm using different sources. For the quality of the teapot, we're not focusing on the clay in these. I know that some of these have added color. There are two sources that we're using. One is high quality and one is low quality. Can you tell the difference between them? And then finally, I will be taking tea breaks. Um, right now, the estimated time is over an hour for this. So I will need tea breaks in the middle. Bear with me, make sure you grab your tea and let's go. So the first one that we have is the Aiju Guhu. So this one, um, we do see the Ju, which is bamboo in it, right? And so that tells me a little bit like that. Uh, the I also means short. Next one, we have the Mantai Bafang Hu. So Bafang means uh, eight sided. <clears throat> That's what that is. And then the tie is for the color. Um, yeah, it's a cool shape. So this one, again, we have another bafang hu. So we have a number of bafangs. Um, this one also has ju in it. So again, it is also has bamboo. All right, so the next one we have is the bafang rei shou. So this one, I think it's cool. Anything that has a pea show on top, if you see on top of the lid, when they do anything cool with the lid button like that, I just get really excited about it. Um, also, the spout is squared. So this is the bafang uh, ba mian feng. So ba mian, again, eight-sided feng is style in this case. It's just a simple eight-sided pot, and we have a similar one coming up next. This one is a duany version of the same thing, right? So that's where it's getting its yellow color from. I like this. Um, it's got a nice big base for it, so it's good for a bunch of different teas. Bai guo hu. Oh man, this is really cool. I mean, there's obviously a lot of distinction. There's duany um, on the spout. Uh, looks like they're using some zini on the handle, and then the juni in the middle. The ba ju hu. So, sorry, ban ju hu. So this is the half ju which would be again another fruit very similar in common that we're going to see different fruits throughout these then we have the bao chun so again chun is going to be a spring um this one's cool i like it i like that i love anytime they use the handle and turn it into like a piece of tree again this one they do the same thing uh this is the same style pot a different character used for the bao uh but yeah again very similar style pot in that Again, there we go, third style. This is probably my favorite. I love anytime they use zini um, on the handle and the spout and then on the top and then use the duani in the middle. I love that. I love the color differences. It looks really good in person. Again, another one. So this one, this is cool. Uh, they, they actually carve in and then there's the little zini beads in the side of it. Again, another bao chun. Um, these are so cool. So the bao xi hu. So again, I really like uh, the, anytime there's like any reference to jade, there's a lot of times where jade is referenced and these look like jade. The bei xian gu gu hu. So this one, yeah, it's cool. I, I like this because it's a really old style. Like you can see around the around the lid, there's these little pieces. Bian fu. So this one is interesting. It's like a short version of like a fangu, right? Um, again, I don't know the, the distinction of like why this one isn't, but yeah, really cool. This one is another cool bian fu hu. Um, I like this, it looks like a rustic duani to it. And look at the tip of the spout. I don't know, I just think it's really interesting the way that the spout is different. All right, so here we have the bian yun. So normally, um, anytime I see yun, 
uh, I would think that it's a cloud. This is not the character for cloud. We will see ones later in the video that do have Yun and cloud. This one is cool. Look, where the heck is the spout? I have no idea. I don't know where the spout is, um, but this is the Baolang Zhui uh, Hu. So again, I think this is cool. It looks like a little panda or something. Bu Bu Gao Sheng. So we're going to see a number of these. This is the first one. Again, this blue color has been colored. This is not a natural color for the clay in Yi Xing. All right, we have the Cai Die Hu. Uh, yeah, I mean, this one's cool. Like, what is, I don't know. I can't tell what that is on top, but it's definitely cool. Um, I don't know what it is. Uh, anytime there's a something on the lid button. I, I get excited. All right, this one is pretty cool. So this one obviously uh, is very common. They use different types of wood uh, on the spout and handle. All right, here we have the Chan Jing. Sorry, Chan Jing. <coughs> so the Chan Jing, that's yeah, a pretty basic shape. I don't know. I mean, it's it's a globe, so obviously you could use some rolled oolongs in this. It's fine. Um, this one we have the Chan Yi. Oh yeah, quality isn't greatest on this. A little bit dark, but again, has that P-show on top. Looks like there's some designs on the side and some handwritten strokes, which is pretty cool. If there's any strokes on it, that, that definitely does it for me. Chan Chi. Again, I love anytime they turn the pot into looking like it's natural, like it's piece of wood. I love the lid button, the spout on this. All right, here we have the Chan Zhong. Um, yeah, I don't know. This is okay. It's fine. I like the landscape on the side. I'm just not super excited about anything else in this pot, but that's just me. All right, this one. Wow, this is crazy. Chang Shou Bi Tao Hu. So, okay, so the Tao is a reference to a peach. So this is obviously meant to represent a peach. Uh, Chang is tall. Uh, it's really, I don't know. I thought that was a super cool pot. All right, we have the Chang Xiang. So I don't know what Chang is. Uh, Xiang is style uh, or so it, I don't know what it's referencing there, but I like the Pi Show on top. Again, we have another Chang Xiang right here. Again, the Pi Show. And it looks like we have some, some Juan Ni, right? So some mixed or spun twisted clay on the side there, which is pretty cool. So this one is really cool, the Chi Lin Yao Wei Hu. So there's no lid button, and it's so uncharacteristic of these like unglazed teapots to be like this, but I think it's absolutely awesome. All right, so the Chu Hu, uh, Chu Han Feng Yun. Now we have the Chuan Lu. Chuan Lu, this is a pretty basic looking pot. I don't know, I like the square lid. The square lid's kind of cool. Um, it's got a nice little spout. Anytime there are feet, I think it's pretty sweet. All right, so we have the Chun Nuan Hua Kai Hu. Hua Kai, okay, yeah, so, you know, opening flowers. Again, very similar design to what we've seen earlier. Another one like that. So, it, you know, obviously we're seeing the repetition of when there's Chun, when there's that spring. A lot of times there are actual flowers or floral designs coming from them. All right, so this one is the Chun Yin. Liu Xiang Hu. Um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like this one kind of looks almost like Egyptian, like with its like smushed nature. I don't know how functional it is. Da Bing Gua Ling Hu. All right, so uh, the Gua again is for melon. So again, we're seeing uh, the fruit or a vegetable in this case. Da Han Jun Hu. This is pretty cool. So Han. Han obviously relates to the Han people. Uh, you'll see a lot of these basic designs that are really elegant that are Han. All right, we have the Da Yun. Pretty cool. I don't know, who do we have inscribed on the side? This one looks like it'd be good for a lot of different teas. Um, obviously there's, you know, some functionality with these that isn't really, ooh, this one actually looks really functional. So we have the Da Yun Han Hua. So again, again, simple design with the Han design. Uh, the Han people, another one, again, in that blue variant. Uh, some people will call this the Tianqing. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I mean, it seems really functional with the open base, open lid. Again, another one. Yeah, I, I like this design. Like, the, now that we're looking at the third one, um, I like the design. I think that this big uh, open lid makes it really nice and especially friendly for new tea drinkers. Oh, this one's interesting. Dan Bao Hu. So, interesting. This is the egg bag pot. Yeah, it looks like an egg bag. I could see that. You put an egg in it. All right, Dan Bo Ming Zhi. <clears throat> interesting. Um, that actually sounds like uh, a Chinese idiom, a different Chinese uh, idiom or Cheng Yu, which is kind of cool. Um, I like the lid. All right, Da De De Zhong. So De Zhong is one of the famous types. You will see not a ton of De Zhongs, honestly, in this, but De Zhong is definitely one of the most uh, common types of teapots. All right, Di Shui Chuan Shi Hu. Interesting. Um, yeah, lid button's cool. <laughs> Obviously, I love it. Looks like a fossil. Yeah, I'm down. I'm down for it. All right. Dian Cai Ti Liang Hu. So this Liang um, that we see is very common in pots with handles on top. All right. Diao Sha Shu Bian Hu. All right, so this one's pretty flat. I don't know, uh, it's flat. Um, the Sha is again the same Sha for sand. Uh, Die Liang Hua. 
All right, so again, more flowers. I like the floral design on the side. Again, something that we've seen a few times already. All right, I'm gonna let you look at some of these. I'm gonna take a tea sip. <sighs> Good little tea break. All right, yeah, I have another one. This one's colored, pretty cool. I think that's the last one for these. All right, perfect. So we have the Dujan Auto. Um, all right, so let's see. We have kind of the barrel-shaped body. Uh, the handle is a regular handle, not upside down. Interesting. Okay, so this is our first one. So this is Wu Hui uh, <laughs> Duo Qiu Hu. So the Duo Qiu Hu is the type of the pot. Wu Hui is reduction fired, which is why it's darker. And here's another uh, Duo Qiu Hu. It's kind of hard to tell from the pictures, but this is like a lighter Zi Sha. So uh, typically, if you see anything that's a black in Yi Sheng or from any of the stoneware producing regions, it's going to be reduction fired, which is what that Wu Hui is in the last one. All right, you are going to hear my water kettle heating up because I need to heat up some more water. Um, I like the I like the Duotio. I think it's it's a good design. Um, obviously, it's very aesthetically pre pleasing. It's definitely more aesthetically uh, pleasing than it is functional, right? Because it's following that kind of rule of thirds. So uh, the lid and top are two thirds the size of the full body, right? Which also makes it less functional. Um, again, this one's another slight different variant. This is the Duozhihu. Again, bigger body, uh, slightly smaller head to it, um, and the top as the base comes up, but very similar. Again, similar in this one as well. Um, this one's a little bit different though, right? Practically, this one uh, doesn't have the same seating on top, right? Um, and so it's a little bit bigger. Ooh, this one's cool. Fan Gai Shi Zihu. Interesting. All right. Um, I don't know what it looks like. There's like a flower coming out of it. That's really cool. All right. So this is one of the most common types of pots. We have the fang gu. Now, I have called this the fan gu for a long time, and I think a lot of people also call it fan. If it was fan, it wouldn't have a g. So this is definitely fang. So for example, this one is fu shou fang gu. Okay, this one, Fang Gu Ru Yi. So Ru Yi is a design. We'll definitely see this again. There are a ton of them, and I actually organized some later in the video by the Ru Yi, which is just these swirled patterns on the side. Again, another Fang Gu Ru Yi. So Fang Gu is again the name of the shape, and the Ru Yi is just the cloud, uh, you know, stroke designs on the side. All right, here we have a Qing Feng Zhu. Nope, that's not right. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is a Wu uh, Wu Hui Fan Gu Hu. So again, this is the reduction fired Fan Gu. Here's another uh, Fan Gu Hu. I like this one. I like the flat lid button. It adds a little bit of context difference. Uh, also, this, the fat handle tells me that it's a little bit smaller. Same thing with this one, right? Typically, the smaller it is, the thicker the handle will be. You won't see a really, really thick handle on a big pot because it doesn't. it's not really functional, but you will on these smaller pots. So that's a good indication um, of size. And again, I like the smush handle. The smush handle's cool to me. All right, so this one, a little bit different again, a little bit more rounded uh, lid button on it. Uh, similar style, again, most of these fungus are gonna be pretty small. I don't know how I feel about the curved um, the curved spout. All right, so this is the Fang Yu Yuan Hu. Interesting, it looks like a little half circle. And I, I kind of like the mosaic that it has on the side. That's pretty cool. All right, Fei Hua Hu. So yeah, it, I, I am such a sucker for anything that looks like it's like the fruit, it's a vegetable, it's nature. I'm gonna say it now, I'll say it again. Ooh, this is cool. Fei Tian, um, yeah, this is sweet. The, the, the flying day, this is really cool. I don't know, it, it's very different than what you would normally see. All right, so for the Feng Zhu Hu, um, uh, okay, so wide body, so that obviously makes it very functional. Uh, it's a little bit too much for me, honestly. I don't really like the handles that have that extra little, extra little slip. All right, so we have the Feng Zhuan Kui Hu. This one, I'm all about it. I love it. I love it. It looks like it literally like came out of some like dwarven mine and some mythical. Anyway, um, I'm all about it. Same thing with this one, the Feng Zhuan Kui Hu. Again, this is another variant of the same one. Um, I'm all about it. <clears throat> we'll come back to other ones like it. Feng Wu Jiu Tian. Um, yeah, kind of basic. Uh, I mean, I like it. it. It almost has the. Yeah. All right. Shou this one, super, super, super love it. Um, yes, yeah, so we have the mix of the zisha, which is the dark leaves, and then the duani, which is the main body, which looks awesome. All right, fu dao yan qian. So this is globe-like, uh, so it makes it kind of cool. Uh, the designs on the side are fine, um, pretty functional. 
All right, Fu Le Hu. So this Fu is auspicious, right? Or, or wealthy, which obviously, I don't know. That's fine. Fair enough. Fu Lin. So this one, again, another auspicious one. Um, anything with Fu, Fu just means uh, rich or wealthy. So again, it's, it's auspicious is kind of the idea. Uh, Fu Rui. It's pretty cool. Um, I like the, it's almost like, a, is it a hexagon shape? I don't know, I can't really tell from this angle, but I don't know, I think it's pretty cool. Is that a rabbit on top? Fu Shou Ru Xiang. It's pretty cool. I like it, I dig it. I don't know, what do you think? I think it's cool. I'm, I'm for it. All right, Fu Tai. <clears throat> so this one, yeah, I, okay, I think this one is actually very functional. Uh, it doesn't look necessarily as cool, but I think it's very functional with the low, wide base. So we have two of these in a row. Um, first the blue one, and then the traditional uh, zi sha, uh, zi ni. So this is the gao feng liang jie. I like it. It's tall. It has the bamboo. Um, I'm typically down for things that have bamboo. Um, it looks like it's definitely printed on the side, um, but that, like it adds an interesting context, an interesting texture to it. Like I'm fine with it. All right. So here we have the gao feng liang jie. So this one, I like this. I'm, I'm really about this. I like the clouds on the bottom. I think it adds some good design. Um, the tall barrel shape, again, is interesting. Ooh, look at how old this guy is. All right, so we have the Gao Yuan Hu. So we have the tall circle pot. Eh, pretty classic name for a pretty classic pot, but honestly, absolutely gorgeous. All right, Ge Zun Lian Lian Hu. This, I feel like this is a meme. Like, <laughs> what? <laughs> like, this pot is made on its side. If you turn it sideways, it's like a half circle sideways. All right. There are a ton of these gong twins. I love the gong twins. I'm all about the texture design. I think they're super cool. Whether they're low quality, high quality, like I, I'm just, I could geek out about these guys all day. I think the texture, it just adds a whole different, look at that, look at that. That's so cool. I don't know, I, I'm just, I, I can't get enough of these. I'm, I'm all about these. So this is a lower quality one and here we'll move into a higher quality one next. Boom, okay. Um, can you tell the difference? Can you tell why this one is higher quality? If you look at the texture detail and the depth of the texture, there is a lot more going on here. Again, this one is also higher quality. Look at the bottom of the handle. Can you tell, see, there, see how it splits there? That's definitely a more advanced design. You're not gonna see these typically on cheaper pots. This one, oh my goodness. I love the gold. I'm all about the gold. <clears throat> so I'm all about this pot. I think this is super cool. Um, yeah, this one too. This one literally looks like a rock. Like it looks like they pulled it out of the side of a rock. I think it's cool when we take something man-made, right? That comes from something natural and then make it look natural again. That's why I love those pots. All right, next we have the Gua Chu. <laughs> it kind of sounds like you're sneezing. Right? Gua chu, gua chu. Um, so gua again is melon. Uh, here's another gua chu. Um, this one again, they mix. So the handle, spout, and lid button um, are using the hong ni, right? And then the base, the body, they're using zi ni. All right, so this one we have the Guang Ming Ti Liang Hu. Again, Liang Hu, handled pot, top handle pot. Right, so any top handle pot in Chinese is going to be Liang Hu. Uh, they have the similar, similar thing in Japanese as well. All right. <coughs> So this one is cool. I like the little little carvings that they have on the top around the base of the body. Uh, the Han Bian Hu. So look, remember how I said earlier they're with the Han designs, they're typically more uh, kind of classic, more elegant, more minimalistic. Look, look at this one too. It, they they just they it looks like it comes from a different place in time. Like it just completely looks different than the other styles, and I like it because it's this kind of simple, minimal, elegant look. Now obviously. <clears throat> when we're looking at pots around the world today, we have a lot of modern designs that are really, really cool. But I think it's really cool to look back at these, these Han Bian Hu's that have this classic sleek look or any of these Han designs, right? So as we keep seeing these Han designs, they're all very minimalistic, all very old fashioned. And I love them. And look, at there's a lot of them. Like there are a ton of these Han Bian Hu's that just came up in these two um, different, from these two different sources that I was looking at. There we go. Okay. Han Duo. <clears throat> so again, still Han style, still somewhat minimalistic, although this one has some, uh, does have obviously some carvings on the side, which I think is, you know, fine, fair enough. All right, here we have the Han Feng Xi Lie Hu. 
Um, this one's pretty cool. I kind of like this. It's definitely an oldie. Like, it's like an oldie but a goodie. If you look at those characters on the side, those are not modern characters. Oh, the Han Jun. Ooh. Again, I think it's just that classic looking Han style. Like, look at the shape of the pot. Not necessarily the characters on the side, but the shape of the pot is just very classic. This one has a little bit more clarity than the last one, right? You can see the color in it. Um, but yeah, just those, the hard lines. So you see like the base of the body is like squared. Oh, okay. Here's our first Yun. Remember I mentioned earlier that Han Yun Hu. So I mentioned that Yun is the cloud. So this is the first Han cloud pot that we'll see, or cloud pot rather, that we'll see. The Han Yun Hu. So again, Yun. Look at that character, that second character. Uh, this is going to be very characteristic. We're going to see other Yun. Here's another one, right? Um, anything that has this kind of like globe, soft like shape to it um, is sometimes called the Yun. Uh, but yeah, I really like the, the Yun pots. All right, here we have the Han Zhonghu. Not to be confused with the De Zhonghu that we saw earlier. Again, uh, this this Zhong comes up in different pot shapes. But this one's definitely an older one. Ooh, look at this. All right, so the He Pan Mei Hua Hu. This is pretty cool. Um, the one thing that I really like about this is if you look, the spout, oop, the he pan yao xian hu. Uh, this one's boring, not as cool as the last one, unfortunately. I got nothing. All right, he qi. So, man, I, I really just don't like the, the handle. Like, anytime I see this little, like, floating part of the handle, not to say it's not cool, and if you like it, I mean, it's all free. Like, it's definitely a stylistic thing. All right, he tang chun si. So again, we're seeing twin, we're seeing flowers again. We know that that's, we've seen that before. Uh, this one doesn't have anything on the handle, just the spout. I love these little bulbous guys. Look at these ke tao hu. So there's two of them here and then it's gonna roll over into one. I just like how bulbous they are. I like that the lid kind of goes perfectly into the body. Like it, the transition point is before you get to the lid, which is definitely unique. And I really appreciate that the artist did it in this pot. Next we have hu xiang. So again, Xiang is fragrant. We see this a lot in reference to the pots that have flowers or any floral designs. The He Ye Hu, this is my favorite of all of the vegetation based pots. Ye is leaf, and it looks like there's leaves all over it. Absolutely gorgeous. He Yi. This one, it just looks like it's a stretched out teapot. Like it looks like it's too tall. Uh, not a huge fan. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. Whatever. All right, next we have the Heisha Shoushin Hu. So Heisha is black sand. I like this. I think it looks like a pot, like a regular pot that they tossed a handle on. I, I think it's cool. Next we have the Hongchuan Gai Hu. So Hongchuan is a red circle. Gai is cover, like in Gai Wan. Yeah, it's fine. It's it's very generic, like its name. Next we have the Hongwan Xing Hu. Uh, so we have the red bowl pot. So this is not super functional. Look at the lid. The lid is so small. So it's cool looking. It's very aesthetic, but it's not going to be very useful. All right, next we have the Hulu Hu. So this one, I love anything old style where you can kind of see the degradation over time. This is from a museum, so absolutely gorgeous on this one. Next we have the Hulu. So I like the double layered design on this one. Um, I'm not a huge fan of lid handles over specific lid buttons, but this one kind of works for it, I guess. All right, next we have the uh, Hua Kai Fu Gui. Uh, like I said, anytime where they do this, this Zuni and Duani mix, I love it. So I'm all about this pot. All right, next we have another one. Hua Kai Fu Gui. Um, this one, the coloration isn't as cool. So I'm not a, as big of a fan, but uh, it's still fine. Next, we have the Die Wu Hua Xiang. So there are a couple Hua Xiangs. This is the first one. I like this. It's kind of like the Fangu, but a little bit different again. Um, I, I like the coloration on this too. It's pretty cool. The next, we have the Niao Yu Hua Xiang. Again, also a fan of this one. Uh, I like the lid. Uh, it is, I guess, it's kind of like the mix of a lid hand, handle and lid button. Next, we have the Ji Tuan. Um, this one, it seems really functional, right? So if you look, it has a really, really wide base, which is good. Um, and then the lid is two thirds the size of the base. So that is very useful. All right, next we have the Ji Xiang Ru Yi. Uh, it's fine. It's a Ru Yi design. Uh, I'm not a super huge fan of this pot shape though. Jian, uh, Jian Xian Hu. Uh, it's old, so it's cool. Looks like it could be from Aladdin. Uh, I'm neither here nor there. I could take it or leave it on this one, honestly. Zhang Hua Han Bian Hu. All about this. I like the lines. I think the lines all kind of point towards the top, which looks really cool. It's a flatter design. Again, rolled oolongs. Not super practical, but cool looking. This does not have a name. Well, it does have a name. I'm not going to tell you the name. It's not a pot, but I thought this thing was so cool that I had to include it. Could you imagine if this was your Gongdao Bei, your pork up? 
All right, next we have the Chao Chuang Ting Yu Hu. I'm a fan of this. I like the green is, is definitely added color, but I like I like the spout. I like the lid. It's cool. All right, next we have the Jiao Ni Qin Lu Hu. I like this. So again, they put the coins, like the traditional style coins on the side. Uh, there's also an idiom that's based off this, which I think is really cool. Next we have the Jing Gua. Um, it's cool. I like it. It's circular. Um, I feel like it's probably pretty functional in terms of its size and ratio and proportions if it's made correctly. Jin Chou Hu. This one, I don't know, for whatever reason, it just kind of rubs me the wrong way. I don't know if it's the shape or the positioning. Um, I like the lines on the side normally, but I just don't really love it with this one. But we have another one here, Jing Wen Hu. This one I think is absolutely gorgeous. Um, I just love the transition from the body, the way that they separate it at the gallery seating, and then how it finishes at the top. All right, Jin Yi. Um, looks like a half circle. I feel like it would be cooler if you had two of these pots and you poured like with them like back to back. So they were pouring into two pots, but that's just me. Next, we have the Jinyu Sanzu. Uh, so the Sanzu uh, just refers to the three feet. We'll see this a lot. The Yu is jade. The Jin is gold. So a lot of bling in this one. All right, next we have the Jin Zhong. Again, most of the Zhong pots that we've seen have had this uh, barrel shape to them. I like it. It's just the golden Zhong. It's fine. All right, Jin Zhu. So again, um, another Zhu, which means bamboo. I think this one's fine. Um, I don't, I, I feel like I'm liking these taller pots less and less as we keep going. All right, Jing Lan Hu. Uh, this one is like one of the most expensive and nicest pots that I have uh, in shape, and it's okay. Um, I love the pot because of its craftsmanship, but I don't love the shape. All right, Jing Lan Hu. I like this. I like the, the angle, the, the um, handle shape is different, right? It kind of looks more, more uh, just normal. All right, Jing Chuan Hu. This is, again, very functional, low and wide, which is cool. Um, the coloration is fine. The pot is fine. Jin Xin. Um, okay, we've seen another variation of this before with the Juan Ni and then the Pi Show. Again, I'm a sucker for Pi Show, so I'm, I'm for it. All right, next we have the Jing Xin. Um, this one is fine. Zhu Bao Hu Lu Hu. Uh, this one is rounded. Uh, I don't really have anything great to say about this. It looks fine. Jun <laughs> Zhu. I like this pot. I like this pot a lot. I have a couple different variations of this pot. I'm a big fan of the bamboo on all three parts of the pot and then carved in the side. Kai Xin Guo Hu. Interesting uh, naming choice on this one. Um, I do. I like this one. I like this. I like what comes out of the handle. Kong Chue Kai Ping. This one, not very functional, but I still like it. Like, definitely gonna be hard to put any tea in it, but the handle positioning is different and the design on top is cool. All right, Duo Zhi Hu. I'm about it. I'm about it. I, I just, I just like it. I just like it. I, nothing else to say. I just like it. All right, here we have the Mei Hua Zhou Pan Cha Hu. This one's funny. It actually says teapot in the name. I like it. I like the lines on this. I like the barrel shape. It's very functional. This one, I absolutely am all about too. The Lang Hua Hu, uh, absolutely gorgeous. I think it looks like a little mosaic and is absolutely beautiful. All right, next we have the Li Hua Te Ran Hu. Um, undecided. I think it's fine. Lian Shu Hu. Again, I feel like this one looks like it's out of Aladdin, and I'm gonna take a quick tea break because my throat is dry. <sighs> Ooh, I just switched over. Um, I just switched over teas. This is really good. Okay. Uh, I feel like we've seen another one like this before. It's fine. I did like the lines on it last time, so I still like the lines on it. Ling Zhu Hu. This is cool. I like this. I like the circle shape with the line in the side. Makes it a little bit distinct, different from some of the other pots that we've seen. This, I think, is ridiculous. So, the Gao Liu Fang Hu. So, this is literally the tall, six-sided pot. It looks like it was stretched out in Photoshop. All right, next we have the Hong Ai Liu Fang Hu. Uh, so, the red, short, six-sided pot. I like this one better than the last one. I think there are other six-sided ones that I like more, though. This is probably my favorite. Liu Fang Duo Tio Hu. I like the Duo Tio Hu by itself, and I like the six sided one as well. I think it looks really, really clean. Next, we have the Liu Fang, another one, the Liu Fang Duo Tio Hu. Uh, this is the lower quality version, just in case you're wondering. If you haven't picked up, there is a distinction in the way that they're named between the lower and higher quality versions. All right, the Liu Fang Gong Dang. Um, I really told you, I told you guys before, I don't like that handle, so I'm going to have to say nope, don't like that one. All right, 
Liu Fang Jinlan, again, still six-sided. This one is a little bit more utilitarian. I like it for its utility. The lid looks like it'd be easy to hold. Uh, the handle does too. All right, this one, uh, I really don't like the color of that duany. The, the handle and the spout is a little bit too light for me, but again, I think it'd be easy to hold and very practical. Liu Fang Jinlan, another one. Um, yeah, same thing again. I don't like that handle style where, where it has that little feathering effect on the back, so it's gonna have to be a pass, but I think it will be a functional pot. Liu Fang Jin Quan. Um, no, this is fine. To me, this is just kind of too basic to really have a super big opinion on, but yeah, it's fine. Next, we have the Liu Fang Liang Hua. Uh, all about this. I absolutely love when they take the design and make the lotus that comes out of the design on the side and they etch it in. I think this is absolutely beautiful from the top. All right, Liu Fang Chiu Shui. Um, I don't know. It looks like a stop sign in a teapot with a circle on top. Mm. Uh, pass for me. All right. Ooh, this one's cool. Liu Lun Hu. So this is the six circle Hu, six circle pot. I think this is cool. I like this uh, version of the six cider. All right. Long Ba Tian Xia. Wow. What a what a cool name. So we have the dragon from heavens coming down, and it looks like that. I'm I'm down for it. I like the dragon on the handle on the top. It's cool. All right. Another version of the Long Ba Tian Xia. Uh, also think it's cool. Again, dragons are sweet. Uh, Pichos are sweet creatures are awesome like i'm all for any of the pots that have those if they're done well uh this one is also again same same style pot and i still think this is a cool one um again this is a lower quality version but i still am all about it next we have the long day um it looks like a briefcase to me which i think is kind of funny so i like it ironically same thing for this next one uh, it has the design on the side um again this one is the character for a dragon as well all right, next one we have is the Long Fang Hu. Um, I don't really like the square shape of the pot, but it does, it kind of reminds me of a cla more classic style of Chinese pottery. So I think I appreciate it, I just don't love it for myself. Long Fang Ti Liang Hu, again, Liang Hu is for those handles that are on top. I've never used any of these. I don't know how practical they are and if they burn you because the pot heats up so much. Long Chuan Duo Zhi. Oh my goodness, this is the pot for me. Like if I could have one pot. Also no, notice this is Long Chuan, which is the same place where um, Celadon comes from, one of the two places. Long Xin Tian Xia. Wow, this I feel like is the bougiest pot. Like check this out. Like look at the way that you hold the handle and the way that the top handle connects to the back handle. It's really cool. All right, Long Yin Ba Fang. Um, eight siders. Okay, so I'm I'm for it. I'm for it. I like the dragon. I think it looks cool. Uh, I like the way that it kind of arches up uh, from the bottom. Long Zui Ban Tuan Gu Xing Hu. Wow, that's a mouthful. Uh, I absolutely love when they twist the uh, the handle on the lid button or the lid handle on this. I think that's awesome. Okay, Lu Zhuan Yu Zi Sha Ti Liang Hu. So, okay, important thing about this, Yo, that third character is glazed. So this is a glazed teapot, and then again the Liang Hu. I think this looks cool. We don't normally see glazed pots. Mei Duan Hu. Absolutely love this pot. Love, love, love this pot. I love the next one. Again, like I said, anything that looks natural, I am all about this one same thing anytime where they etch in the side you can't get these for a cheap price that look nice like that's one of my favorite things about these two like you can't fake these like either they're really high quality or they really don't look good okay meihua yupan um functional because of the open wide lid looks good the zuni duani mixed i'm fine with it all right meiran jianghu so the beautiful people's pot um yeah, it's fine. It's kind of basic. The handle's a little bit different. I guess the spout is, is kind of curvy. It's fine. All right. Mei Xiang Hu. Um, I like it. I like it. Pretty much if it ever looks like it's from the woods uh, and it's not done terribly, I'm, I'm going to be a fan, so I definitely like this one. Here's another Mei Xiang. Uh, ironically enough, actually, I, d I don't like this one. So maybe, maybe, uh, yeah, not, not a huge fan. Uh, flowers are fine. Handle's fine. Spout's fine. Just not super original. All right. Mei Zhuang. Um... I can't, I don't remember if the color of this is because of the picture, if this is what the pot actually looks like. Uh, the color looks a bit muted, but other than that, Ming Chuan Hu. Um, yeah, yeah, this is fine. I like the lid button. I like the feet. I like the spout. It kind of comes off the body really nicely. It's pretty cool. Ming Yuan Si Fang Hu. Um, I don't know. It looks like it would go on my coffee table. Maybe. <laughs> okay, so I just said that I like all of them. Uh, I don't like this one. I don't. I don't think the red looks good on Zisha. I think on other pots it looks fine, like on, on porcelain and other things the red looks good. I don't think it looks good on the Zisha. Nian Nian Yu Hu. Uh, 
Uh, I'm okay with this one. So honestly, I think this is a good point. So like, if you look, the yellow looks better with the red on top of it rather than just the straight clay itself. Um, so okay, the Neo guys, we're gonna see these a lot, these lids, we're gonna have several of them in a row. This is one of my least favorite of the group. Uh, again, this is another one. Um, uh, it's fine, it looks like the other one. Um, it just looks like a factory made pot, like it's nothing super really special. This one's kind of cool. So I like that this one, you can attach your own handle to it. If you see the two points, um, you can attach your own handle, which is pretty cool. So you could have a bamboo or cloth or whatever you'd like, which I think that's fair. Uh, here we go. So this is a similar one. I love, look at the color gradation on the side of this one. The Niu Gai Yang Tong Hu. I think this is beautiful. Um, I think it's absolutely beautiful. All right. Niu Zhuang, uh, Tian Kun. Uh, I like it. I like it. Yeah, period. I like it. Pan Shi Hu. I love this one too. Um, I love the design on the side. I love, look at the dragon coming out of the spout. This thing is crazy. This is a crazy pot. Yeah, this is super cool. I'm all about it. Yeah, um, I think it's cool. I like the coloration. Um, it looks like a high color clay was used to make that bad boy. Again, this is a similar to one of the one we just looked at. I'm still all about it. I like the sheen to it. I don't know if that has a glaze over the outside. I'm not sure if they use a clear glaze. All right, Pijianghu. Um, I think this kind of looks like a sadder version of some of the Han designs, honestly. So I'm not about this one that much. All right, Pingan Tohu. A Taohu, excuse me. Um, so the Tao is because this is actually from a set, so it's really just a Ping An Hu. Um, I'm fine with it. I like it. The Peace Pot. Pu Sha Sheng Fang Hu. Um, yeah, this is cool. This is cool. I like I like the way that like it's it's very intentionally angled from it to go in from biggest to smallest, not from bottom to top. I like it. All right. Pu Sha Xiao Ti Liang Hu. Uh, I don't like this one as much as the previous one, but I do like the Pu Sha. I like when they have these like this this coloration is cool um, with the Sha. All right, Qin Chuan Hu. Um, I like this. I like this one. I like that it is tall. It kind of does look like it's stretched out, but I think it's a cool pot, so I can I can get over it. All right, Qing Feng Juyin. Um, yeah, it's fine. Uh, it has bamboo, so can I hate it? I've already told you guys that I love bamboo, so can I really hate it? No, probably not, but it's not my favorite. All right, uh, Qing Liu Hu. Uh, I think the color contrast on the paint on this one looks absolutely amazing. I also like the bulbous pot, so I'm going to be good for this. This one's so cool. Look, Qing Man Tian Xia. Look, at, there's two people holding hands on top of this. That's so cool. Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure, for sure. I'm about it. Okay. Chou Shui. Uh, Chou Shui. This one just looks like a sad version of the one we just looked at, so I'm going to have to get a pass on this one. But, you know, it's circular, so it's functional, I guess. It's fine. Chuan Ding San Zu Du. Sorry. Chuan Ding San Zu Ding Hu. Um, this one's cool. It looks like an old cauldron. Um, I like the legs, so that's cool. We'll give it a pass. Chuan Hua Ti Liang. Yes, it literally is the skirt flower uh, overhandled pot. I love it. It looks cool. It's unique. Ru Hu Tian Yi Hu. Um, I like the square design, right? That's something you can only get in Yixing, so I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not opposed to it. Yeah, I think it's a fine design. This one's cool. Ruhu. I feel like this looks like, like an ox or something like that. I'm all about it. Also, if you look, look at the spout. It actually goes from two to one, so it like comes together. That's really cool. All right, Cheng Xin Ru Yi. Uh, yeah, it's a teapot. It's, it's fine. Da Bing Ru Yi. Um, to me, this looks like a sad version of the other cauldron pot that we just looked at. Feng Ming Ru Yi. Um, this one's fine. No, I like this one. I like this one. I like that the, it gets the symmetry line that we like to see in Yixing. All right. Uh, we have the Ji Long Ru Yi Hu. Um, I like this one. I like the handle thickness looks good. The lid button looks good. The spout looks like it's going to have a good pour. Ji uh, Xiang Ru Yi. This one, again, is going to have a good foundation, so I'm fine with that. Uh, the lid handle, not a super huge fan of, but that's fine. Um, also not a super huge fan of the handle. Ru uh, Yi Liu Fang. Okay, so we have, again, back to the six-sided pot. Uh, okay. Yeah, functional. Ping An Ru Yi Hu. I like the peace pot. I like the peace pot. I like it with the Ru Yi combination design. That's fine. Si Ji Ru Yi. Yeah, so this is a very basic design that obviously you can see uh, copied at low quality, high quality. Um, I think it's fine. 
um, Wen Shi Ru Yi. I'm about this one. I like the shape. I like the fact that the lid handle matches up perfectly with the lid, matches up perfectly with the body. Like, I think this has a really good balance to it. Xie Gu Ru Yi. Um, this is okay. Again, I feel like it feels like some of the other kind of more boring Ru Yi's where it's like, yeah, okay, it has a heart on it on the side. It's fine. Ru Yi Yu Pei Hu. I really like this one. Um, I think it looks like the skirt one where it has a really good, like, flow from top to bottom and the progression of it. And that makes it look good. Uh, Yun Ru Yi. Um, the designs on the side are cool. It's not typically like my style, but I do like them. Like, I think it's done well. I think this is a good pop. Ru Yi Hu. Um, I do like the way, look at the lid button and how it kind of goes into the lid. I think this is different than how a lot of things are done. So, I'll, yeah, I'll give this one, yeah, I'm for it. Another Ru Yi Hu. Um, this one is kind of basic. Uh, again, it could be done very well, but it could not. All right, Sam Bao Hu. Uh, I like this one. I like the mixed clay. I like the fact that the spout and the handle are different. Um, I think it adds contrast. Also, look right around the rim of the lid. It is also different. Sanyang Kai Tai. Um, so again, we have the three style open tie. It's fine. All right, another one. Um, yeah, I'm just going to pass on these and just take a sip of tea while this is passing by. Enjoy. Oh, we're still on him, huh? <sighs> do, 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 do. Okay, there we go. Sanzu Ding Chan Hu. This looks like the other one that we looked at before. I think this is cool. I'm still for it. Uh, I think it still is the best version of like the cauldron shape that we've seen thus far. Sung Mao Hu. Okay, this is not my style, but it, I think it is absolutely fantastically done and something that could really only be done in Yixing just because of the hard lines on it and looks really, really good. Here's another one. This is the lower quality version. But I still think it actually looks pretty cool. Um, I don't like the squared handles normally, but it's it's pretty cool in this one. All right, Shamo Jujo. This is cool. I like it. I like the camels that they use in the lines on the side. I think it's somewhat unique. The lid button's kind of unique, so I'm I'm for that. Um, Shibu. Uh, this one's cool. Wow, wow! Look at that lid button. That lid button's so cool. Like pff, wins on that. I don't care what the rest of the pot looks like. Cool lid button. Shuni Fang Hu. Um, yeah, dude, a square pot. Like, if I flip that lid upside down or take the lid off, could I, like, put other things on that? Like, is it perfectly squared? I'm for it. The Shun Dun or the Wei Xin Hu. Um, yeah, I think this is cool. Like, I like the body shape. I think it goes well into the lid that kind of looks like it's the top of a vegetable or something like that or a gourd. Um, Shen Chu Hu. I like this too. Again, I think it kind of looks not as Chinese, kind of looks like a more minority style, which definitely doesn't get represented enough in pots. Uh, Shen Xiang Zu Hu. Uh, this is cool. I like the two level design to it, you know, the, the smaller base, and then it gets a little bit bigger. I think the lid button's pretty cool. The spout looks good. Uh, Xi Bian Hu. Um, yeah. I like this one too. I like the lid. Lid's cool. I think the body's cool. I love anytime they use old style characters, like, I'm a sucker for that. Uh, Shi Chu Yu Ming Hu. Um, okay, uh, yeah, it's fine. Um, not my favorite, not my least favorite. I think it's okay. Shulai Yun Juan, Juan. Um, see, contrary to last one where the lid button looks really cool, and this, I don't think this one looks as cool. It might just be the picture quality. Wang Pa Piao. Okay, we're getting to the Shi Piao's. I love this one. This is probably my favorite Shi Piao, and then we have like 10 more to go through, so eh. <laughs> All right, Chou Jiao Shi Piao. Actually, I really like this one too. I forgot about this one. Um, I think this one's pretty cool. Uh, I just like the shape. So all of these shipyaos are going to have a triangle shape to them, you'll notice. Here's a gao shipyao, which is literally just tall uh, shipyao. Um, again, this is just one style of pot, and I think we'll get into the more normalized shipyao shapes here in a second. Okay, so this one obviously is textured, but this is getting closer to the classic shape. Um, typically, they have a lid handle, not a lid button on them, um, and I'm, I'm okay with this one. I'm kind of in the middle. Uh, this one, again, this is the, your most classic. Again, ignore the bamboo. That's going to be getting to your most classic. So this is the Jinju Shi Piao. Um, I'm fine with this. This is cool. I like Shi Piao's, like I said. All right, we have the Jinju Shi Piao. Um, yeah, this one, again, this is your most classic shape, again, uh, with if it didn't have any coloration on it. So um, I'm for it. I like Shi Piao's. There we go. Another Shi Piao. This one's carved. I like carving better than painting on most um, Yixing stuff, or most stoneware stuff, excuse me. I'm cool with this. 
All right, now we have the Lin Hua Shi Piao. Uh, I like this one. I like the way that the lid matches up perfectly, although sometimes it makes it a pain to actually put on because I'm like anal about it and need to make sure it lines up when I put the lid on and things like that. Long Piao. Okay, yeah. Okay, uh, yeah. Anytime I get the option to have a dragon and a Shi Piao together, yeah, like I'm, I'm in. <laughs> Sold. Uh, absolutely love this pot. Think it's awesome. Next, we have the Rui Shi Piao. Um, this is a cheaper version. You can tell just the, the way that it's designed, but I think it's still fine. Um, I think a lot of people like the Rui design, so it's okay. Next, we have the Ziye Shi Piao. Uh, we have a number of these, and I think this one's okay. I like the carving on the side. I'm not the biggest fan of this one, but I think it, you know, it, it, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> All right, next we have another one, the Ziye Shi Piao. Um, I think the colors that they use on these are probably the best colors that you could use, but again, I typically prefer not to have colors on stoneware teapots. Um, this one has as many characters you could possibly fit, that somebody could write on the side of it, um, and I think it's cool. Uh, I am kind of in the middle. It depends on if I want characters on a pot. Here's another one. Again, this is that kind of blue Tianqing variant. Uh, eh, I'm not a super huge fan. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, another one. Uh, I'm generally a bigger fan of carvings. It's kind of hard to see because the picture quality is not great on this one. But yeah, it's it's fine. It's fine. Another Ziya Shi Piao. Also, fun fact, um, I looked up what Ziya is and I literally can't find anything on it. So Zi is usually used, um, it can be used just like as a sound marker. And uh, Ye also doesn't have like a super definitive meaning. Um, so I need to do a little bit more research on that. But um, honestly, I'm not sure. Uh, okay, this is the classic Shi Piao right there. Boom. Like take a picture of that in your mind. Um, all right, Shi uh, Piao Hu. This is a Duany pot. I like this one. Um, also, look, there is, you can only see one leg. Um, there are three legs on these. So these typically have three legs, but for whatever reason, when I crop them, like it's very hard to take pictures of Shi Piao's. Um, this is a very high quality Shi Piao, by the way. The one that's on the screen right now is very nice. Um, so yeah, typically this one's a better example if the one foot wasn't terrible. Um, but so these are going to be, yeah, they're going to have three feet on them. And that's very classic of the Shi Piao style with the lid handle and not a lid button um, the triangle both in the body of the pot and the handle again these are all very common next we have the shi san zhu so this is literally 13 bamboos a really classic really original name no but i mean it's fine i, I the the taller the pot is i feel like the less i like them shuang long chu hai what the heck is this thing look at this there's two dragons kissing on top of course i'm gonna love it this is so cool shuang tong hu so this is again so uh shuang means pair uh, so last one was a pair of dragons this is a pair of tongs right so we have two barrels just chilling on top. That's fine, right? Cool. Shuangxian, uh, Shuangxian Zhu Uh, yeah, this is cool. I'm all about it. Like, I, pff, it has bamboo. It's a cool shape. It has characters. I'm in. Oh my goodness. This may be my favorite top handled pot that we've seen. Look at the twisted, like it's supposed to look like twisted vines or bamboo on the top. Like, yes, of course I'm in. All right, next we have the Fang Zhong Shui Ping Hu. Um, I like it. I like it. It's 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 clean with the with the with the. With... All right, now we have the Liu Fang Shui Ping Hu. Uh, I also like this one. I don't know why. I I think it's just it's just clean, and I feel like it the the sides come together well. Maybe. Uh, San Zhu Shui Ping Hu. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm about it. I think this goes back to kind of that cauldron shape. Um, I'm okay with this. Shuo Guo Hu. Um, I like the green that it's not over the top. I like this a lot better than the red and some of the other ones that we've seen in the past, so I'm, I'm for this one. All right, uh, Chulong Niu Si Fang Hu. So again, we're still in the Si Fang Hu's. Um, I like this one. I like this one. I'm for it. I think it's cool. All right, uh, Chou Jiao Si Fang. Um, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Hai hao ba. Uh, all right, next we have the Xiaoming Si Fang Hu. I think this one's really cool. I like the lid handle a lot. Um, I realize the handle itself may or may not be practical. It really depends on how well it's done because it's squared. Uh, Si Fang Cai Xiang. Uh, so again, we have the twisted clay on the bottom there. That's, that's pretty cool. It's pretty unique. You don't see it a ton. Um, I don't love it, but I'll give it, yeah, it's cool. Si Fang Chuan Lu Hu. I absolutely love this. It looks old. It looks rustic. The characters they use are like super elongated take up more space on the side. Um, I'm for it. Next, we have the Si Fang Duo Qiu Hu. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, I like the Duo Qiu. I like the Si Fang. Um, I don't know that this would be my favorite pot that I'd pull out, but I don't hate it. 
Um, so Fang Hu, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm for it. I'm for it. I'm for it. Um, I like this is very boxy, and I think like you gotta go to extremes to make me like really like it. I like that it's like all box. Uh, so Fang Hu, uh, <laughs> this looks like it bloated. Like it looks like it was square, and then it like it got really heavy in the middle. Um, nah, I'm gonna pass on this one. All right, Sifang so Junyu. Uh, no, pass. Wait for next pot. Okay, Sifang so Longquan. Uh, so again, this is Longquan going back to where Celadons were made. I like this one. I'm down for this one. I think it has cool designs. And yeah, that's it. Sifang so Longzun. Uh, yes, yes, please. Yes, please. Toss me a dragon on a Sifang so four-sided. It looks very similar to the Shipiao, but I, I'm, I'm still for it. Uh, Sifang so Pusha Hu. Again, this is going to be very similar to the one we looked at before. Um, I still like this one. I still like the, the, the Pusha. I think it looks cool. So, yeah. Sifang so Chao Ding Hu. Um, this is cool. Yeah, I like it. I like the four feet. I think it's designed well. Uh, the transition from the body to the lid looks good. The lid handle looks good. Sifang so Xianglong. Um, yep, still good. Still fine with it. Still think it's cool. Uh, the seating on this is cool. The spout. I like the spout. I like the spout. Sifang Yin Jiao Zhu Ding Hu. We'll see. I think there's a number of these. Have we already looked at a few of them? There's, there's like four or five of them in the actual slideshow. All right. Uh, Sifang Yinyi, um, I like this, but not necessarily because, like, the color. I think if this was done on, like, a, tr like, a traditional Zuni on the darker color, I don't think it was, like, look as good. Uh, Sifang Zhiyun, um, no. That's just a no from me. Sorry. If you like it, it's cool. Sifang Zhuding. All right, here we go. Yeah, so we're coming back to him. Um, I like pretty much all of these. I think they're all cool. I like the light brown. Um, I like the way the lid comes together. I like the way the handles come together on these. This is the Sifang Zhuding, who otherwise known as the Pao Guang. Um, again, similar to the ones we just looked at. There's going to be another one coming up here. I think we have two or three more. This is probably my favorite color, and I, I would guess this is the highest craftsmanship um, out of all the ones that we're looking at on the list, but this is probably my favorite one. I like the dark and the way that the light goes against it. I actually had one of these, ironically enough. Um, the Sivang Zhu Ding. Um, yeah, so this mine was huge. It was like 400 mils, which was great for like a huge group. Um, but yeah. All right, uh, going back, the Sifang Zhu Wu Hu, again, last one. Um, I like the way that just the color contrasts where they etch it. Uh, you don't typically see this on Yixing teapots, but it's pretty cool in this one. All right, Suji Ji Xiang. Um, meh, I'm going to pass. Song Duan Hu, yep, all about it. Literally looks like a tree trunk. Like, the amount of... I know it's just not, I mean, it's not necessarily more work, but I, I just think it looks cool. I like when they do stuff like this. Uh, again, another variation of the same thing, so I'm still going to be all about it. Do you guys like trees? Let me know if you like tree teapots. Like, if you like it in the description, um, make sure, yeah, just, just let me know. Let me know if you like it or not. So this one, I couldn't figure out what the third character was in this pot. That's why there's a blank there. So, Song Shu blank Tao Hu. I like this one. I think it's okay. I think the red contrasts better than the previous one. Song Shu Hu. This is funny. So this literally, like the Shu is literally uh, for rat. All right. Su Jiao Hu. Um, the gold looks fine on the side. The shape is fine. It just looks like a half circle on a half circle with a half circle. So yeah, it's okay. Half. Su Shui Hu. Uh, I think this will look really cool on a shelf. Uh, I, it's not going to be super practical, but I think it looks cool. It has enough distinctness to be a cool pot. All right, next we have the Su Yuan Hu. This to me looks like uh, looks like Pooh Bear's like beehive container that he carries around, <laughs> um, which is eh, fine. All right, Suan Ni Hu. Um, I like the feet. I like the lid button. The handle both have the dragon on them, so that's pretty cool. Tai Shu Hu. This is interesting, right? These are like, look at how close this is to a Shupiao, but it's not a Shupiao. And and this really goes to like how much they've honed in the designs. Like, all right, here we have the Tamu Qing Han Yu Zi Ran Mu Ti Liang Hu. Um, this looks super cool. I'm all about it. They made it look like it's not ceramic, but it is. All right, next we have the Ti Pan Gu Lang Hu. I don't have any um, of the pots that have a handle on top, but I think it looks pretty cool for those. All right, Tian Di Fang Yuan. Um, yeah, like the the, the eight sided you know pot with the thing on the thing. Yeah, it's cool. Uh, Tian Zhu Hu. 
this one's cool it's short the handles different so I like that the lid buttons different so I like that I look for things that are different like if it's different I typically like it or there's some things I just really like uh, Tianlong blank Zhu again I don't know what the third character is uh, I like the way that the design comes across from the handle on this one I think that makes it distinct and cool Tian Shu Hu so I saw this in the museum in Yisheng when we were there this thing looks so much cooler in person um, so I, I absolutely love this there was like a whole collection of those uh, Tian Yuan Xiang Chu. Uh, I think the colors they picked are good. Um, I don't love it personally, but honestly, I don't hate it either. It looks like it has a snail on top. Tian Zun. Uh, yeah, this literally looks like, like, I feel like if this was jade, like if this was jade colored, this could be like in the emperor's palace as his teapot. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, another Tian Zun. Same thing. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, next we have the Tong Zi Zhi Lian Wen Gao Shang Hu. I like, I just like the color and variation on this, not necessarily the pot itself and its shape, but like it's cool that it's different. Okay, Wa Dang Hu. Um, I like the characters on the side. I like that it's a different shape, even though it's just a semicircle. It's fine. Next we have the Wan Dang Hu, not to be confused with the previous Wa Dang Hu. Um, I feel like this one's very functional. Uh, yeah. Uh, Wan Tao Hu. Mm. Yeah, yeah, okay. I like this one. I mean, it's got the it's got the floral, the vegetation on it, so it's fine. Uh, Wang Chun Hua Hu. Uh, I also like this one. I think I also like this one. It's so hard. We looked at so many pots. Like, um, Wang Zhu Shi Hu. I love this pot. It's a net circle style pot is the literal translation, but it's just cool. It looks old and I like it. I'm a fan. Uh, Wen Tan Hu. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Like it's not as cool as like a Tokoname pot, but like as far as Yixing goes, yeah, it's pretty cool. Wu Chan. Um, no, I'm just gonna pass. The candle's fine. All right, Wu Fu Pan Tao Yi Tao Ai, excuse me. Um, yes, I like it. I like the way, I think they did a good job with the handle to the body design and the lid button design. Wu Hui Yu Tian Hu. Yeah, so uh, remember, Wu Hui means reduction fired, so there is not enough oxygen, so it pulls color from the pot. I think this is fine. I like most things that are reduction fired. Uh, this is a Wu Xing He Dou. Yeah. Uh, the five star He Dou pot. Yeah, it's cool. Uh, the name is cool. I don't know that it looks cool, but the name's cool. Wu Zhu Hu, the five bamboo pot. Uh, wait, wasn't the other one 13? It looked like almost the same thing. Mm, this one's shorter, actually, so I like this one better. Okay, I love this shisha. We're getting into, yeah, 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 yeah. Dao Ba Shisha. Um, so the shisha pot, uh, obviously, if you haven't seen it before, it is a very classic style. I like this one. All right. Um, Xian Chu. <sighs> no it looks like all the other ones just with a different name no Xiangfu. i like the yellow i like the gold um lid handles fine uh, i don't like the handle but it's fine Xianghe Ti Liang Hu. i feel like this is a ripoff on the on the skirt one um so i'm not a huge fan i love the flat lid button though so i'm gonna give it yeah in the middle on that Ooh, Xiang Yu Bao Xi Hu. uh yeah so we already looked at two of these together before i love these i love the jade look on the handle and on the spout so yes plus for me thumbs up Xiang Yun. uh yes Yes, yes, yes. Has cloud in the name. Looks flatter. I'm for it. I'm for the Xiang Yuns. We have another one coming up too. Yeah, boop. Uh, actually, oddly enough, I don't like this one. So I don't like ones that actually have clouds on them. I like ones that have clouds in their name and are representative or look like clouds, but not that have clouds on them. Xiao Yu Lian Yi Hu. Uh, yeah, yeah. This is cool. Like this is different, right? Like nothing we've seen it looks like this. So yeah, I'll give that one a thumbs up. Xin Ru Yi Hu. Um, yes, I like that the Rui design is on the handle and not on the side of the body. I think that makes it a lot cooler. Uh, Xu Bian Hu, uh, it's flat. It has like the three, kind of two or three layers to it. Kind of reminds me of like Cloud City in Star Wars. So yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. We'll give it a yeah. Uh, Xuan Fang. Um, it's pretty basic, but like it's functional. So yeah, sure. We can go with that. Next we have the Xue Hua. I like the Xue Hua. Um, I like the lid button. I like the lid transition to the body. Again, good geometry. The handle's meh. 
All right, ya means the fang hu. Um, the green is really interesting. Ya zhu. Uh, I love this pot. I like the shortness of it. I think short is cute generally, so it is cute and it's bamboo, so I'm for it. Uh, Yao Xian Hu. On the opposite side, uh, this is tall, and not that tall necessarily makes it ugly, but um, I don't think that this is attractive because it's tall. I think if it was short, it would be cooler. Ye Yu. Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't dislike this. Um, looks like it's got a little jelly bean lid button on it. Yi Fang. Yeah, I didn't like the one before, so I guess I can't really like this one, right? Um, it's okay. It's okay. I mean, like I said, it's probably functional, but not the greatest. Um, honestly, I think I like the blue the best on this. I know the other ones, like, I haven't really liked the blue that much, but I think the blue looks good, because it's just, like, such a generic shape that the the distinct color makes it more interesting. Yi Jun Hu, uh, I love this. I love the old style characters. I love the style of the clay mixed with the pot shape. Like, I feel like this was all designed together. Yi Li Chu Hu, uh, yeah, yeah. I like this. It looks like it almost like looks like it could have come out of like a tomb or something like that. Yi Mai Xiang Tong Hu. Um No. It just doesn't it's just not interesting. Like uh, I just feel like it's kinda lame. Sorry. Pass. Yi Ran San Tu Hu. Um again three feet, San Tu. Uh I like that it has the little like coin uh, up on the up on the lid button there. If you look it's connected. Uh the spout's fine. Uh Yi Xiang. It looks like some of the pots we looked at in the beginning. I think I'm fine with this one. Yeah, we've just looked at a lot of pots that are similar to it, but that's not their fault. All right, uh, Yi Yuan. Uh, not to be confused with a doctor, which is also Yi Yuan in Chinese. Um, yeah, it's fine. Uh, Yin Wen Fang Zhong Hu. I like this. I like these transition pots uh, that, that kind of bend the walls, but it's a straight wall. I think it makes it a little bit more interesting than just a flat wall. Uh, Yu Dai Ti Liang Hu, again, I remember Ti Liang, or excuse me, Liang, um, is these over, over the top handled pots. Uh, also, Jade reference, yeah, fine. Uh, Yu Dai. This is cool. I feel like it looks like the, the Long Piaos or some of the other ones that we've looked at before, so yeah, I'm okay with this. Yu Hua Long Hu, uh, yeah, these are so cool. So, this one actually, the, the lid moves. Like when you, the, the little dragon in the lid actually moves. Um, here's another version. So this one's a better, like a higher quality version of the same pot. And this is two sides of the same pot. Um, so you have the, the dragon on one side and the fish on the other, which is literally what it says. Um, Yu Li Hu. Um, yeah, I like this. I like that the base is a lot smaller. I think the handle has a really intricate design to it. I wouldn't necessarily use it, but I liked it for display purposes, maybe. Ooh, here's another Yu Li Hu. Uh, yeah, this thing is funky. Like, I don't know where you fit the tea leaves or how you get the tea leaves out but yeah okay uh you uh is this a gesture hat or a teapot yeah it kind of looks like a like a circus tent or something i don't know um it's fine yulong san uh interestingly enough this has jade in it and dragon but i don't love it it's crazy we're breaking the mold here all right uh going back to the yu tian hu yeah still like it it's a different variation but i still like it Yu Tang Fu Gui Hu. Um, I think the yellow is a little obnoxious. Oh, I like the handle. I like the dual handle, the split handle. So, sure, it can stay. Yu Ti Hu. Very functional. Um, looks kind of like a squished apple. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's fine. Yu Yue Long Man Hu. Uh, I like the. What, what do you think I like? Lid button. Yeah. Yu Zhao Hu, um, functional, not very interesting, fine, yeah, fine. Yuan Chu Hu, uh, look at the lid button on this, it kind of looks like it comes together like, like a drop in the middle, that's pretty cool. Um, the handle's also a different shape, and I do actually like the curved walls on this one. Uh, Yuan Yu Hu, um, yes, not functional, but cool. Again, the shape wouldn't be very good for tea, but at the same time, it would look cool, so yeah. Uh, Yuan Zhu, so this is just that circle version of the pot that we've seen before. Um, yeah, I think it's still cool. It's fine. Um, I like it. I would probably use it if I had it. Yun Jin. Um, I think this, again, goes back to that kind of classic imperial style. I don't hate it. I don't love it. I probably would give it to a friend. 
Yuni Hu. This is cool. Look at that design on the side. I don't know what they did to it. I don't know if it's a glaze or what. But it's probably a glaze. Um, it looks good though. Looks cool. Fresh, modern. Uh, Yuni Zi Bi Hu. Um, too tall for me. I think we've come to the conclusion over this hour of talking with each other that I don't really like tall teapots that much. Uh, Jian Shu Hu. Uh, yes, I think I like this one. It's not too tall, um, like the last one. I like the seating style. It's very classic. Um, Zhi Liu Ai. Uh, yeah, I like this one too. Uh, it looks old. I like the lid button. I like the... I don't really like the handle, but I like the body. Uh, so yeah, this is again classic shape. The long dan is a uh, dragon egg. This is a classic shape. Um, I am not opposed to this at all. Zhongchang Qinghu. Um, I don't really like the shape, so sorry. Even though it has bamboo, or not bamboo, but flower. Zhonghua uh, Qing. Uh, meh. Lid button's cool. Body shape's fine. Just kind of in the middle. Zhong Shi Hu. I like this. It kind of looks like a bell. You know? Don't, don't, doesn't that look like you could ring it or something? Yeah. I'm for it. I'm not opposed. Zhu Bao Ping An. Yeah. So, very round. Bamboo handle. Little. I like the little bamboo tip for the lid button. That's an interesting different touch. So, yeah. We'll go with that. Ooh. It looks like my grandma's like basket with like a crab on the side. A very cool design. Definitely wouldn't want one. But it's pretty cool. Um, looks like Aladdin's lamp, but blue. Nah, I'll pass. I think we have another one coming. I think we have several of these, actually. Uh, do I feel any different about the Duani? No, it's probably functional for, like, a good new tea drinker. You know, it has a big open, you know, at the top. But no, nah, I'm still going to pass. Um, all right. I feel like the Zuni looks the best out of the three, but I'm still not, like, in love with it. It's just, yeah, it exists. Like, it's it's a thing. It's a teapot. Uh, Zhu Duan Hu, yeah, 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 yeah. Bring me back to these. Take me back. Yeah, yep, I want this, and I think we have several of these, and I'm excited to get back to them, because I absolutely love them. Um, I like the other version better, but this is still fine. Um, the barrel shape is still fine. Uh, the lid button's still cool. The handle shape, uh, regular, not inverted handle. Uh, this is probably my favorite design of, of, of those Jude Line Hoos or any of the, like, of the bamboo pots. I really, really like the shape the best because that middle almost looks like it's bamboo, kind of. This doesn't, right? Like, this looks like a teapot where they just, uh, you know, toss some bamboo on the sides. But I feel like the other one looks like it literally could have been pieced together by bamboo. Obviously, it wasn't, but it looks like it could. Ooh, that's cool. The circle, the circle bamboo one, the Jugu. Uh, yeah, I'm fine with that one too, actually. Yeah, so we're getting to the end here uh, with the bamboo uh, 主界黑沙湖. So, guys, if you've liked this video and you want to see more content like it, please make sure you like and subscribe because, um, you know, making this content is a lot of work, but I appreciate making it. And, you know, if you want to see more of it and more people want to see it, then I can make more of it. So that's that's basically it. Um, we have <laughs> several more several more of these of these bamboo inspired pots uh so let's keep them coming this is the julu shang xiang hu um next we have the zhu shou hu um oh okay yeah sorry this is not bamboo it's just another zhu um i like the decor on this kind of looks like i don't know like mm, not from here all right zhu shu hu <laughs> Right on the nose, we have bamboo and a rat on a pot. And that's exactly what this is. And that's exactly what it says it is. Uh, here's another one. The Zhu Shu Mai. Again, rat on top. I don't know what's... I, I, I need to talk to somebody about what the significance between the connection between bamboo and rats are. Because there might be something that I'm missing here. Zhu Yin Hu. Um, this is pretty cool. It reminds me of like... A, you ever seen like A Bug's Life, the movie? Like I feel like it reminds me of that one dude. Like the bigger dude. I think he went to the circus. Um, Zhu Yin Qing Hui Hu. Um, no. I'm just gonna pass. Like, all these, like, rent, like short, fat, square ones, I'm just like, nah. Uh, Yeah, this is Lu, not Hu, at the end, interestingly enough. Um, I, yeah, I like this. I like the symmetry between the top and the bottom. I think it looks good. Oh my goodness, look at these. Zumu Xiao Zhu Hu. Yes, it's a little flying pig. Yes, give me the flying pig. I want a flying pig pot. Like, somebody give me one of those. Yeah, I'm all about it. Uh, Zu Yu Han Guan Hu. Uh,. It looks like tile, kind of. I think it's cool, but I made pass. Uh, Duan Shi. Yeah, I like this one. I like the the kind of like um, 
protrusions. The the yeah, I like it. I like it. Blanche. I also like this one. Yeah, I also like this one. I like this circle. It kind of looks like a shi shi, but it's a little bit different. It has like the the, the indents on the side. So, wow, that was a marathon. If you're still with me, I'm so thankful that you stayed with me. But I know that you're probably just as tired as I am after going through all of those pots. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, subscribe, and share because I know there's a ton of people that will find this video really useful. Additionally, like I said in the beginning of the video, we will be going over a lot of these major styles. We'll be giving them English names, talking about them more in depth, but today we just wanted to go through as many possible shapes and styles as we could. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did making it, and that's all for us here at Gongfu Yu. Thanks so much for joining us, and we'll see you next time.